and we are live. Let me make sure the sound is up. Okay, we are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Homemaking with Purpose. I am your host, Denise Jordan, and today we are talking about spring cleaning. Boom, spring cleaning. So now let me just ask you to clean or to spring clean or not to spring clean. That is the question. So how many of you ladies out there actually spring clean? And while you're putting your answers in the chat, let me just share a couple of things with you. And one of the things that I want to say is that spring cleaning continues to be a popular topic. And I'm getting little beans from here and there. You guys know how Mickey Blue Skies like to mess with me when we start the show. But again, spring cleaning is a popular topic. And there's always a discussion as to whether or not we spring clean or whether or not we don't spring clean. So let me just tell you this, spring cleaning used to be a requirement. And why was that? Well, in the old days, way back in the day when people didn't have central heating, central air and all the kind of things that we have today, people heated their house with coal, with firewood or with oil. So as a result of that, it threw off a lot of soot and a lot of debris and their houses would be all closed up over the winter time. So in the spring, they could throw open their doors, throw open their windows, and then they'd have to scrub down their walls because they could actually see the sit on the walls. They would drag all the mattresses and everything out into the yard, beat them with a stick or a broom to try to get them freshened a little bit, hang them out on the line to refresh everything. And then they might go and then do a whitewash of the walls and that kind of thing. Well, fast forward to 2024, most of us in the world have central heating or some kind of a, um, electronic heating and air conditioning and all that kind of thing. Most of us are not using coal or wood or oil to heat our homes. So we don't have that kind of problem that is in our homes. So I'm going to check over here in the chat and see what people are saying. We'll say hello to a few folks and then we will see what people are actually saying that they do as to their practice. So we've got Caroline here with us. Caroline, thank you. I am so glad you're here with me live today. And my sister, Wendy, boom, I'm so glad to talk with you. I have to call you because I've got a question for you. And then my BFF, Ethel, and for those of you that don't know, this is Hillary Smith, and she's my best friend, Ethel, and she calls me Lucy. And from time to time, she'll say, Lucy, you got some explaining to do, which I've had to do from time to time. So Caroline says it's nearly midnight in England. She put her kitchen to bed and now she's ready to enjoy a lie. So you've got your kitchen put to bed. So that means you've got your, your counter cleaned, your dish was done, the floor has been swept, the kitchen is closed and nobody better walk in that kitchen and get a bowl of ice cream or anything else tonight. So yes, and ladies, I think we have a guest that's going to be joining us. And Tiffany, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And look who's here. Hey. Fiona. I'll be there in just a second. I'm, well, that's uh, okay. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, chat. And I'll just put you back in the green room until you're ready. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds so I wasn't sure if, if Miss Leona was going to be able to join us tonight because, you know, she has a busy schedule herself. But Tiffany, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And then Michelle. Hello, Michelle. And then again, there's Carolyn. And then there's Joe. And Wendy says she has three dogs and two cats. So she has to clean all the time. That wasn't the question, Wendy, as to whether or not you cleaned all the time. The question is, to spring clean or not to spring clean. Because typically when people talk about spring cleaning, they're talking about deep cleaning, doing something a little bit different than what they do all year. So that's where we are. So 
Caroline says she springs clean. I'll let you guys know what I do in a minute. Tiffany says she usually does a spring declutter. Now, Tiffany, I'm going to come back to you in that regard because you're um, just hitting one of the statistics that I have on my data for today. And Joe says she doesn't spring clean. It just gets done throughout the year. And that's the way she was raised. Well, let me just tell you guys, when I was a girl, we had to spring clean. Um, I remember in one house we lived in, we had coal for our Gosh, that's letting you guys know how old I am. But yes, in one house I lived in, we actually had coal to heat the house. And then uh, in the next house we lived in, I think we had, was it gas? Maybe. I mean, I was a kid, who knows. But I remember we had coal in the first house because I remember the coal truck coming. And then the second house, we probably had gas. But my mom and dad both smoked. So I remember in the spring, we had to spring clean and mom would have us wash the baseboards. Mm -hmm. We would wash the walls and you could actually see like the debris from the cigarette smoke on the walls and stuff like that. So we definitely spring cleaned. So yeah. Ms. Milne, uh, for those of you who are just joining us, who we have with us today is my YouTube sister from another mister. Uh, Leona Dooley from Ebony, Ivy, and Time in the Kitchen. And y'all know we like to get together on these real intense topics. So, Leona, what do you say? Do you spring clean or not? Well, I, I have to admit, you know, I, I can remember back when I was still working, I would always take most of spring vacation. And I would spend that time scrubbing and doing all those kind of things, getting it done. The good thing thing is, is that I've taken your process of doing so many minutes a day. And so uh, basically during the spring, I do more decluttering. And um, I had shared with the viewers in, in one of uh, my videos recently that, you know, I, at this point, because I do it weekly, are in some cases daily, mm -hmm. then I don't have as much. It's not as much as you would normally have to do as far as cleaning is concerned. Now, are there certain projects that, yes, I'm like this weekend, we're redoing a whole bathroom. And um, so that's going to involve a lot of painting, a lot of extra cleanup. But other than that, I am using the process that uh, we've put into place of where we spend e anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes a day and try to get that as much of that cleaning done, doing it with zone cleaning. Oh. I am not going to spend an entire week doing nothing but scrubbing walls. <laughs> okay. So now back enough to Tiffany Shelton. And hey, Tiffany, she, Tiffany is one of my uh, friends from another group that I'm in that I told you about with Nikisha. Mm -hmm. uh, but she says that she usually does a spring declutter. And when I was looking at some data earlier, it said in general participation, some surveys from the U.S., have reported anywhere from 50 to 70 percent of Americans say they traditionally engage in spring cleaning mm -hmm. and it goes into a variety of things mm -hmm. and then however over time that trend is somewhat changing and some people tend to engage in demographics and in in decluttering and there is certainly a change in regards to demographics mm -hmm. so participation in spring cleaning may vary like for those that are older, or I should say more mature, they have the habit of spring cleaning so that they do it. But younger people are less likely to engage in the traditional spring cleaning compared to the older generations. And if you think about it, they don't have some of the issues or some of the concerns that we might have had. Like when I was a girl, and we had heating with coal mm -hmm. and wood or anything like that. I'm not that old, but... <laughs> But I certainly remember coal, right? Gas. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. I remember all of that. So, um, but it did also say though that people tend to engage in some overall decluttering because of things mm -hmm. that have accumulated in the house over the seasons. So now I'm going to back up to Joe, who says she does it all year round, and that's mm -hmm. what I do now. So for those of mm -hmm. you who are new to our channel. I do zone cleaning and then when you do, which is based on the fly lady cleaning system. And you guys know that fly lady cat is my mentor, but 
when you do zone cleaning, you work on a different zone in the house each week and you choose four things that you're going to work on from 15 to 30 minutes typically 15 but sometimes you might need to go to 30 depending upon mm -hmm. how quickly or how long it takes you to do but you pick out different things to deep clean each week and maybe this week since it's zone four and i'm in the master bedroom maybe mm -hmm. i might choose this week to clean the baseboards in the bedroom mm -hmm. or to deep clean the shower in the master bedroom shower but I'm doing little things all year long, each week, all year long, that I don't have to spend spring break cleaning like I used to. Because I used to take, they said, well, what are you going to do for spring break? Clean my house. Mm -hmm. I get some things done. Mm -hmm. Now, does that mean that there aren't things you might not do seasonally? So Caroline says she changes the bedding and the curtains to reflect the seasons. I do too. Yeah. I, I like to do that too. Yeah, I like to lighten things up because during the winter, our, my curtains are heavier mm -hmm. and um, less light comes in. And during the spring, I want to lighten it up. Mm -hmm. And so I typically change out the bedding because it's usually a little darker, mm -hmm. mainly because of the fact, I, I don't know, it just seems like in winter we tend to uh, stay on the bed. And, you know, of course, it's heavier. Mm -hmm. And uh, once the spring comes, I typically go to a lighter color with both the bedding and the curtains. And one of the things that I like to do now, you ladies can jump in and let us know what you think. Definitely put your answers in the chat. But one of the things that I like to do is, is particularly is wash the bedding in the spring that we've been using all winter. And then as soon as the weather's clement, I love to put clothes out on the line. Now, I won't be putting anything out on the line before June, the late June or July, which means that the early part of the spring is going to have to go in the dryer. And maybe you might put in a scent booster or even just some kind of oil, just to mm -hmm. kind of give things a fresh smell. But if you think about it, you've been kind of cuddled up under those blankets mm -hmm. all night long, so they probably do need to be refreshed and aired out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so let's see if what anybody is saying over here. So Nita B is here. Hey, Jerry Barber, it is good to have you with us. So Granville says, um, she still believes in spring cleaning. So Granville, tell us what you do in regards to what you do for spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. So Rachel says she's lurking and making dinner. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> we haven't seen her for a while. <laughs> no, it's been a while. Yeah, she said she's making dinner. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, how sweet. That is sweet. So there's hello to you. Hello, hello. So now, Wendy, you said you believe in spring cleaning. So what do you do differently in the spring that you don't do all year long, especially since you have the dogs and the cats? What are you doing differently in the spring? Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, you're funny. <laughs> So Caroline's been scrubbing her baseboards and moving furniture to clean underneath. Now, you know what I would like to do? I'd like to be able to clean under the stove mm -hmm. and behind the, like under the washer and dryer and back mm -hmm. in those nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. I can't get in there unless the Sears guy is here to do some repair. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only time I get to do it too. But what I really would like to do is to, is to re redesign well I guess that's not the word but I want to I, I when I was younger mm -hmm. I would move my bed move my dresser the chest and all that and you know you'd come in one day and the bedroom looked one way and the next day it looked like something else and I would love to do that but at this point in time I just don't have the strength or the energy to be able to do that mm -hmm. and uh fortunately you know it used to be that you know we depended on our vacuums to try to vacuum underneath the bed to mm -hmm. get whatever was underneath and uh, but uh, we have a, ro a little robot, one of those iRobot, and he goes under that bed, girl, my under that bed has been cleaner than it's ever been, I think, in 50 years. And so it is so nice. I am so, totally jelly of your little robot. Oh, I love him. I love him. I can tell you. 
but you know he does it, it he it goes in places that that have not seen a vacuum because you know you're limited to how far you can reach exactly. but it's nice mm -hmm. well uh devin says that she deep cleans regularly she's got a large mm -hmm. dog and they've been remodeling for a while so between mm -hmm. those two things she's been deep cleaning regularly mm -hmm. and if you do zone cleaning too and everyone doesn't have to do zone cleaning the way i do it people do right. it in a few different ways but um but yes when you do deep cleaning regularly then you don't have to do that i know michelle with everyday wife life she she doesn't do it exactly the way you do it mm -hmm. but she's got her own system and it works mm -hmm. and it works and i think that's the important thing that you have a system in place that works for you now i know i have the um the planner that i have has a whole list of different uh, task in it that you mm -hmm. might need to do year round. Mm -hmm. And some are just seasonal tasks. Like for example, my husband will wash the windows in the spring or early summer, mm -hmm. but typically he'd be working all year long. The weather right. in Indiana is not clement to be trying to wash any windows other than spring and summer. Mm -hmm. So it would be at in the early spring or late spring, possibly mm -hmm. on spring break or when school was out, that mm -hmm. he'd be able to get to that. Mm -hmm. So that's one of those seasonal tasks that we might have. Mm -hmm. And I might not do, uh, I might get out on the front porch and get the porch swept off. We might get out mm -hmm. the lawn furniture or the mm -hmm. porch furniture and that kind of thing in the spring. But those right. are seasonal because, mm -hmm. of course, we're not sitting out on the porch in the wintertime. Right, right. And plus, you have to wait until all the pollen and all of that has settled down. There's no need in cleaning until the pollen has done its thing and uh, it's over. Now, see, that just shows differences in um, ge uh, geography because we don't have that problem that I've what? seen. No, I've seen in Georgia and sometimes even in Tennessee where the pollen just drops and it's like a, a, a blanket of snow. Yes. On yes. We don't have pollen like that here. Our pollen might get in the air, but you don't see it, but you can certainly breathe it in and everybody is sick with hair fever and those kinds of things. But I know what you're talking about because I've oh. seen it. We don't have pollen that drops, but we do have mm -hmm. leaves that drop in the fall. Okay, okay. Yeah, so in the early spring for us, weather-wise, you know, the grass is starting to green up, mm -hmm. the trees are starting to leaf out, mm -hmm. um, the weeds are starting to pop up because you know, oh, yeah. it's dormant as well and the ants start to come out of the ground. Yes, yes, they're showing up. And uh, ant yesterday, I was like, honey, there's an ant in the kitchen. He's like, in every spring, which is yeah. not what I want him to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got our, our cherry blossoms are blooming. The, the uh, pear trees are blooming. It's beautiful. But oh my goodness, the allergies are just going mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. So Evelyn Mitchell is here with us today, too, and she says she spring cleans by getting carpets and windows. So then that's mm -hmm. one of the things that she puts up. And I guess mm -hmm. I get that, too, because we with all the snow and then we get rain in the rainy season. But that mm -hmm. by the time it's early summer, you're ready to get the carpets and all that clean from stuff that people have tracked in all year long. Mm -hmm. I can certainly understand why some cultures are shoeless homes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They live in a region where it's real dusty and, yes. and that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I know I've already scheduled our carpet cleaning and uh, we're, we're lucky because the windows we have fold in mm -hmm. so I can clean both sides of the window really any season. Mm -hmm. So I usually do them uh, when I put the Christmas wreaths up. I clean the outside as well as the inside, and then I usually do it again in the spring. But that's it. You know, well, our windows are fold in too, but that's not mm -hmm. one of the tasks that I do. Mm -hmm. I won't do the things that he will do. I figure, why should I take on something that he will do? Because there's enough tasks that we as homemakers do mm -hmm. that they don't do. Not necessarily mm -hmm. that they won't, but they just don't or they don't think. Mm -hmm. of. So I figure the things that he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Let him have it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm with you. Yeah, so let's see. So Wendy says she's going to clean while the live stream is going. Let's go. Go ahead, Wendy. Right. And you know, we appreciate that, that while Absolutely. you're listening to us, you can get some work done. 
So D King, I think D is new to us. So D, welcome. Lady yeah. Sandy, I don't think she's been with us before. Yeah, if she sure. has not forgotten. But her family collectively does spring clean. They actually do wow. a seasonal deep cleaning. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. Didn't she? Mm -hmm. Look at that headrest. I like that. I love it. So Devin says she ends up deep cleaning one room at a time. And that's probably mm -hmm. uh, what you end up doing. Mm -hmm. um, like Joe was saying, she does that year round. And I think with zone cleaning, you're working on deep cleaning in a different space each week. But you could do uh, spend one month in a room and then go another month to, to another mm -hmm. room for deep cleaning. You're going to be hitting every room all, all month long, but just not as in depth. Right. So Tiffany is high. Okay, so now Caroline remembers cold fires and no central heating. Oh. Her sisters would race to dress by the fire every morning. Icicles inside their windows. I think Caroline said she was in the UK. Is that what she said? I don't know. Caroline, remind us again where you're from. But you said you remember the coal fires and no central heating. Okay. And here's Sally from Covington Creek. Hello, Sally. So Caroline said where she's from, spring cleaning was essential. And like I said, when we had coal fires, it was that way too. Michelle says they do a big spring and fall cleaning. And then Evelyn declutters everything as part of spring cleaning. Okay. Now, Leona, do you have a, a, a um, decluttering process or? Uh, well, you know, I, I'm in the middle of one now. I, I'm going through my closet that I probably really should have decluttered well about seven years ago when I retired. And uh, I just couldn't part at that point with my with clothes. Mm -hmm. So I have taken everything out of the closet. It is empty. And mm -hmm. uh, what I'm doing is just doing one article at a time, making a decision. Do I love it? Have I used it in the past three years? And if I haven't, it is in the box. Mm -hmm. So I've already taken a couple of bags down to the, you know, I told you we work on Wednesday at uh, a church. Uh, with the homeless. So I've been taking clothes down there. And um, that has worked out very well, because that's given me the incentive to kind of pick up my speed mm -hmm. and get it done, because they really do need the clothing. Yeah. And uh, so that has been the process. But normally, uh, I will tackle a closet or tackle, a, you know, uh, uh, like in the bathroom, because I know we've got some construction that's going to be going on in there. I went through the 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 linen closet and started tossing out anything that didn't look good and are, you know, just was kind of past its prime and um, got rid of that. So those are the kind of things that, you know, I'll pick up now, whether I do, I don't necessarily do it seasonally, but I do it as needed as needed. Mm hmm. Now, can you go through that again? You were saying that the questions that you asked yourself just to make sure that everybody here heard them uh, when you were when you, to make your decision on what you keep. Uh, when, when you're looking, it doesn't matter, you know, what kind of closet it is, or even your kitchen, you know, your, uh, uh, like the linen closet, or your regular closet for your clothes, you have to go through and you look at it there. My first thing is, have I used this item within the, the past three years? And sometimes even shorter than that. And if the answer is no, then I try to gift it to someone else. And that's what I call it, gifting it to someone else, not just giving it away. And because when you say you're giving it away, you're thinking, oh my goodness, I've got all that money that I'm just giving away. Mm -hmm. But when you think about, think about it from a gifting standpoint, there is someone out there who needs what it is I that like you're passing that. on. And so uh, it's always good to, to look at it. Now, as I put things back in, what I did was that on Amazon, I found uh, uh, these storage bags. Mm -hmm. So I'm adding 
the like seasonal dresses, those are winter dresses will go in, in a bag. The spring dresses, summer, you know, and just do it according to the season. Coats will have a bag. And then that way I don't have to open those until that season comes mm -hmm. so that will be the way that and plus it only holds so much <laughs> and so <laughs> so once i uh, and plus two i i have to admit i went shopping and uh so that means that if i'm bringing something new in i've got to get rid of something oh and so, so the one in one out rule yep so I, I bought about three dresses. So definitely three, at least three items have got to go. And so, um, but those are the kind of things, it's a process. And part of that process is really more for your, I say, mental thought. Because when you start really looking into your closets and looking into those kind of places, you know, these are things that we've, for us, we've accumulated over the years. And some things we've held on to just because. And, you know, like certain kinds of suits, certain kinds of shoes, certain, you know, I've got shoes that I haven't had on in years. And I know I am not going to put my, my feet in them. But because I like them, I didn't want to let go of them. I and I keep thinking. Oh, I'm going to wear those. I know I'm not. So I have already boxed them and they are in a box. Okay. So, you know, those are things to, to think about. They're hopping over here. As Walter says, the chat is hopping. <laughs> Let's see. So Sister Eleanor, no, Sister Christian says mm -hmm. she just cleaned inside, outside her windows and will declutter her home and closets and then donate to charity. Mm -hmm. So that's a good idea. And I mm -hmm. like the way you said gifting the items because gifting mm -hmm. them does put a different connotation on it, a different mm -hmm. perspective. So to donate, sometimes you're donating things mm -hmm. mentally, you're donating things that you don't necessarily want. But mm -hmm. when you gift them to someone, you're mm -hmm. gifting someone something that you like mm -hmm. uh, or maybe even love, but it doesn't serve you any longer, but it can serve. Mm -hmm. So I like the thought of gifting to someone yeah. else. So Caroline says she's baffled by Fly Lady and she'll start watching Fly Lady Cat. Well, here's the thing, Caroline, as Fly Lady Cat says, it's a three layer cake. The first layer is your daily routines um, is your is your daily routines the second layer is your weekly plan and in the third layer is your zone cleaning so when I talk about the daily routines that's my daily swish and swipe where I sw swish out the toilet wipe out the bathroom sink and wipe down the mirror mm -hmm. only about five minutes in each bathroom and I have three of them that I have to clean Mm -hmm. But I do that every morning, first thing. The second thing is you start a load of laundry. Mm -hmm. And then one load a day keeps Mount Washmore away. Boy. And then you unload the dishwasher. If you have a dishwasher, if you wash dishes by hand and you left them out on the sink to drain, then you dry them and get them put away the next day so that your counter and everything is ready to receive dirty dishes throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And then you do a, a clutter stop and fly lady cat came up with the clutter stop. And that is, you just take a minute and you just kind of look around in whatever rooms you're in to see what's out of place. Mm -hmm. You're not cluttering, you're just rehoming things that aren't where they should be. So for example, mm -hmm. if I looked around in here, I got this coffee cup right here on the, on the desk where I was drinking some hot chocolate or some coffee before mm -hmm. I started the show. So once we're done, then I should take this downstairs and put it in the dishwasher. That would be taking mm -hmm. it where it goes. So that's a clutter stop. Mm -hmm. And then I've been using some tissue. So I got tissue here on the desk. So that would involve putting the tissue in the trash can. Mm -hmm. That's a clutter stop. But it's not me looking around and say, okay, what do I need to clean up? Or what do I need to do in here? The clutter mm -hmm. stop is just taking those things and putting them where they go. And then the second layer is your weekly plan. Monday mm -hmm. is the weekly home blessing where I strip the bed and I wash those sheets. I empty out all the little trash can liners. Well, my husband does that because he empties the trash, but he's learned now, okay, it's weekly home blessing. I sit the trash cans in the hall and he gets to them. Mm -hmm. uh, sweep, mop, and vacuum the floors in the 
primary or the, the main traffic areas in your house. Mm -hmm. Not like mm -hmm. mopping and sweeping and vacuuming every corner of those rooms, but just in the main traffic areas. Mm -hmm. And um, you wipe down the glass. So the, the glass in all the rooms and then just do a dusting. That's on mm -hmm. Monday, weekly home blessing. Tuesday's your free day. Now, that being said, it's free from, oh, I forgot to mention zone cleaning. And then you've got your zone work, which you pick four things in a zone to work on for 15 minute tasks. And then the second layer is your zone work. Mm -hmm. So um, week one is zone one. That's the uh, entryways, your front porch, your dining room. If it comes off your entryway, your landing mm -hmm. could be your back patio, but the, the ways you enter your house in those rooms right off of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Week two is zone two, which is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Week three is zone three, and that's your main bathroom and one other room. So it could be your main bathroom and maybe your child's room, or mm -hmm. it could be the main bathroom and another bathroom upstairs. You get to decide, or it could be the main bathroom in the office. My office always needs attention. Mine too. <laughs> and then week four is your um, master bedroom, which I understand from real estate, they're changing the name from master bedroom to primary bedroom. Oh. Primary bath and primary hmm. bedroom closet. Hmm. Uh, you work in those areas. Mm -hmm. And in week five, which doesn't come around often, is family room, living room. And you can split mm -hmm. them up, you can split them up or whatever. But mm -hmm. those are your zones and you just choose for like this week we're in zone four primary bedroom. So I pick the four things. I need to work on my yoga clothes. I need to work on my husband's uh, underwear and socks drawer. I want to work mm -hmm. in my closet and I wanted to polish the bedroom furniture. Those are the four mm -hmm. things that I choose to do. Mm -hmm. Last week when we were doing the main bath in one other room, my one other room was the whole weekend. It was my office and I had office desk one day, side office desk day two, Paper clutter, day three, just, you know, you can figure out how you do that. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you paper clutter. I, I need, oh, it just grows. You know, I used to think I didn't have paper clutter until I got to looking at my desk and I thought all the notes that I have for each week's show, I'll have them piled up on the desk and maybe I'm researching something and I have little notes mm -hmm. or tissues that I thought. I always thought of paper clutter as bills and paper right. associated with those. And my husband takes care of that now. Mm -hmm. and I, thought, a minute, I probably got more paper up here than, you know. <laughs> Well, you know, my husband, he, he does do the bills, but and it and he's so good and he's so uh, efficient with it, but he he will shred and shred. I mean, he, he doesn't have any clutter whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But I'm like you, I've got notes, I've got stickies, I've got all kinds of stuff that I'm just trying to find a place for and mm -hmm. trying to figure out do I need it? You know, do I need to keep it? Okay. Now, Caroline has something interesting here. She says she regularly does a spiritual cleansing of her home by anointing her home with oil and prayers. Oh, okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Dee says she's looking forward to using her laundry line again after the pollen clears up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to hang clothes out. I love that. Now, that being said, though, about the pollen, we get the pollen count goes really high here, uh, usually early August, and they'll start giving the pollen count on TV. Oh. Our pollen gets bad when everything is starting to die down. We'll have a problem okay. with rainbows and then mm -hmm. pollen fall. And so they get the pollen count on TV every day. So, you know, to stay in the house or whatever, but you don't. Yeah. You just can breathe it in. Oh, yeah. So in in the August, I don't hang clothes out because it's like my husband has mm -hmm. a lot of allergies and he's always sniffling and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. particularly once he's been out fishing. So it's like, I don't want to put things out on the line and then he has to wear those on his body. That's true. I love to hang things out in the spring. Now look at Wendy. She says she's started to hire house cleaners to help her deep clean so she can do maintenance the rest of the season, change the bedding from the winter, and change out decorations and more. Yeah. 
And you know, Wendy, that's one of the things that, that you mentioned that, that it talked about on the, the notes that I have. And it said that some income levels are more likely to hire professional cleaners to come in and help with their deep cleaning or their spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. And then others will take on that process themselves. So I ain't mad at you that you can hire somebody to come in. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I I did hire, hire, I had a regular person when I worked. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, you know, once I stopped, I didn't need that person. I'm thinking now I might have to go back. (laughs) You might have to call her up again. I have other things I'd rather do. (laughs) Exactly, exactly. So Ethel said she just finished painting and newly furnishing their guest room for her granddaughter. So the dream house, the Barbie dream house is out in the living room. Uh, that's a win, but the rest is an ongoing process. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. I got it. So Joe says she'd love to be able to hire someone. Mm-hmm. And then Deb Whitmore is here. Hi, Deb. So Caroline is going to, when spring cleaning is over, then she'll be able to celebrate Resurrection some, Sunday. So she's getting ready for Easter. Yes. Get all that, get all that yes. done. Ethel said, <laughs> we can't wait for cleaning her new Fleur apron from Apron Diva. That was the one I had on the door last week. Mm-hmm. You scarfed that right up. So you should have it any day. <laughs> oh, yes. Tiffany says, remember to like the video. Yes. Thank you, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. I didn't forget to tell people to do that. And I guess I should reintroduce us for those that joined us late. For those of you just joining us, I am Denise Jordan, your host. This is Homemaking with Purpose our bi-weekly show on homemaking where we bring to you tips, tricks, and information on how to navigate your homemaking journey. And with me is my sister from another mister, Leona Dooley from Ebony, Ivy, and Time in the Kitchen. Mm-hmm. And let me just show you her channel real quick. Uh, there's screen. So here's her channel right here, Ebony, I did time with Leona Dooley. And Leone, while we're talking, um, you had the printable for how to prepare for Easter. And I forgot to put it on my community tab like I told you I would. But tell them now where they can get that. I will. I will. Um, Guys, if you will, what I will do as soon as this show is over, I will make sure that I put the link for you to be able to go to. You'll go to my email and just shoot me an email. A couple of people from last week sent their information. I've already uploaded that information into the system Mm -hmm. and uh, I will be able to send uh, the Easter update of the new of the newsletter to you because uh, it did give you tips and and tricks for things to do for uh, getting prepared for the Easter holiday as well as just spring in general. Mm -hmm. But um, there's you know there there are things to be done but we can do them in such a way that it's not overwhelming. Yeah. And certainly we want to be able to enjoy the season and we want to get our work done as well. Okay. And then let me also say this video or rather this episode is brought to you by Apron Diva, uh, my online apron boutique. So pretty and practical. We believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. And here is that floor that, um, uh, Ethel and Michelle both uh, were p- picked up right away and then a few other people. So, but we've got this new little bunny one for spring. And then also we've got Beatrice. And so here you go. So again, this is our online apron boutique. So be sure to check us out there. And there you go. So, um, okay, Wendy, talk to you soon. I'm going to call you tomorrow. Um, let's see. Hmm, I hope nothing was wrong. I know. Hmm. Okay, so Sally says her spring and fall cleaning is the garage. And and we do that too in the Mm -hmm. garage because 
She says things tend to accumulate and the house is now done all year round. And you know, in Indiana, where we both are, we have such harsh winters. You have to store a lot of things in the garage mm -hmm. and so in the spring and then the uh, fall, the things tend to kind of reassess where you put stuff. So um, my husband will take the snowblower and all that stuff out of the garage and put it in the shed. And then he'll bring out, you know, either a small, a small lawnmower or the rakes or whatever, but mm -hmm. you know, he has to, you know, he puts those things in the shed and then brings out all that fishing equipment. Yep. And has that <laughs> we keep the tractor and some other stuff in the shed. But there's things that we do in the garage that just has to be there because you don't have yeah. anything to put it. And then Sally's also adopted the one thing in, one thing out. That, mm -hmm. that is so helpful. I wish I could do that. I tend to buy things in two, so I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> I do that with supplies. <laughs> now, lovely moments creating. I like mm -hmm. that. Lovely moments. I do. Creating. I like that. She deeps clean regularly, but in the spring, she purges. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. And lovely moments. Thank you for joining us. Is she a lady that's from your channel or is she just new to both of us? I think she's new to both of us. Well, I'm welcome, glad she's welcome. here. Yes, Absolutely. We're glad here. ladies, welcome lovely moments. We've got another new sister here joining us. Yay. So we were right. This is Dee's first time catching us live. Okay. Now let okay. me know when you go live uh, on Monday. I go live on Monday. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. At what time? At what time? 12 o'clock or one o'clock? Oh, at one o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock okay. in the afternoon. So you can and catch me upload on Saturday at one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Ellen says she wished she could get her family to remove their shoes to help with dirt and stuff outside, but they're not doing that. And you know, I, I, I know what you mean. And part of the problem, Evelyn, is that's not our culture in the U.S. Mm -hmm. for the most part to take your shoes off when you come inside. But I mm -hmm. tell you what, there's just two of us here and we've got a tile floor from the front door in the kitchen and the family room. And I'm mm -hmm. like, how do we get so much dirt and debris in this uh -huh. house with two people? And I thought, ah, it's coming in off our shoes. So it makes sense to me why people have, mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. off when you come in. So I've got a pair of shoes now that I only wear inside. I don't wear them outside at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah that helps. Be... Yeah, Caroline is in England. I thought she said. Oh, she okay, was... okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now Sister Christian says she just starts at the top and then goes to the bottom until she finishes. I wow. Can't do that anymore. Once upon a time. <laughs> Yeah, I can't do that anymore. Mm -mm. Hey, Stacy, this is one of my friends from my Tuesday group. That oh, you and me. hi, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Thank you so much. So she says she really needs to declutter, and you know, Stacy does a makeup channel. So, um, mm. uh, Stacy, drop your link in the um uh, chat so people can come and visit you and mm -hmm. see what you do over there. But um, yes, you probably got lots of makeup you can declutter. Because I know I had used to have one. <laughs> yeah. And then Caroline liked the decluttering tips that you gave. I'm not sure what that is. Me today and my family, know. maybe. But oh, my family. We we'll doing mm -hmm. more gifting. So Ellen says she started decluttering when she retired 12 years ago. Huh? No work clothes. I got that. Wow. What? No blouses with but buttons. Okay. Yeah. She got rid of so many black slacks and work shoes. You know, I've got some shoes that, one pair that I used to wear to work, which I need to get rid of because I only wear them to church. And then I don't even like wearing them to church, but they're the only heels that I can comfortably wear. Mm -hmm. And the other fancy shoes that I have, the heels are so tall. I'm like, I am not wearing no shoes because yeah. they're just too tall. And then they just make my knees hurt. So mm -hmm. I just don't wear them. But I got a fancy occasion coming up next weekend. So I'm going to have to try to figure out what shoes I'm going to be wearing. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you are welcome, Caroline. You are quite welcome. Oh, thank you, Caroline. So there's Tina. Oh, I got hey, Tina. Tina. Yashika is here too. Yashika's from my um group that I was in this afternoon. So thank you for stopping by as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing beats fresh laundry like having laundry on the line. That's true. You know, Rachel. Um, are you, you guys are back. And if you remember, Leona, Rachel was our military wife and they were yes. in and now they're back on the mainland. Oh, and now wonderful. Sure, honey, I am sure you got, you want to spend some time with that man. He'd been away for a while. So it's good that you're back on the mainland. Yay. Kind of merge as a family again. Mm -hmm. Trust me, we are not mad because you have not been able to come to lives. You have some That's right. to do. So you got to do what you have to do, girl. Mm -hmm. um, and then simply Gian says there's no shame working moms and having a cleaning service. No way. Because listen, that's right. Here's the thing. Men will pay for help if they need it in a minute. Mm -hmm. but we women think we have to do it all. So listen, if you working moms think you have to do it all, rip that mm -hmm. S right off your chest. <laughs> You are not super mom or super woman. That's Rip right. That S right off your chest. <laughs> if you can afford to pay somebody to help you, pay somebody yes. to help you. Yes. And you can have more time to spend with your family and doing the things that you love. That's yes. right. That's right. And it is so worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when she's going to start cleaning tomorrow to prep for Palm Sunday. Okay. Oh, yes, we do. Huh. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. Oh, Stacy says, yes, yeah, Stacy says she only knows me. Yes, yeah, she's uh -huh. new her circle. This is the first live of ours that she's been. I appreciate you coming here, Stacy. And I've got some friends from another group that I'm in that mm -hmm. joined me today. So I appreciate it. I'm going live on Amazon tonight at 945. Oh, I'm wow. In, in this other group that I'm in, we've been encouraging each other to do some things. And so mm -hmm. I'm going to do a live stream on Amazon at 9.30 or 9.45 and talk about some um, canning products and food preservation products that people need mm -hmm. to start thinking about now because that season is just around the corner for many of yes. us. Whereas yes. we don't start bringing things in here in Indiana until mm -hmm. June but maybe in your area or in areas further south, they'll start bringing things in much sooner. So mm -hmm. you want to be prepared to be able to get things when you can. Oh, yeah. And yes, Leona's newsletter is absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Deb. My newsletter is OK, but I don't get <laughs> out every week, every month like Leona does. <laughs> She is very organized and that newsletter comes out every month. So the newsletter is wonderful. So do sign up for her newsletter. She's got great recipes, great tips and the prep for, in, uh, for Easter list. So it's in there. So uh, I've been chatting quite a bit. Is there something you want to add? No, I, I, I'm so busy reading. I mean, it's it's been great. Oh, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like I, it. I, I get it. I get it, Evelyn. I'm with you. Hey, Florence. Hey, Florence. Oh, so Stacy said her college roommate was from Vietnam and she got her to have to take her shoes off. Okay. Makes sense. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we've got Irish McZeal here oh. and says that. Um, she cleans a deep clean every Saturday and she wow. does the house. Her and her husband started 21 years ago. So mind you, she, they're only, she's only 41. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That, that really does make a difference in your house. It, it does. It does. And then Joe says that she can't keep up either sometimes. And so she just does what she can. Mm -hmm. and, and then lets the rest go. Yeah. Oh, Stacy's going to be doing a giveaway soon because she has too much. Ah. Much makeup. 
So Yashika says, wait a minute, it didn't pop up. There it is. He hasn't started spring, started for spring, but planning on starting with her closet. So Yashika, I'm not sure when you joined us, but one of the things we've been talking about is whether or not it's necessary to spring clean or not. And if you do, what kind of spring cleaning do you do? So if you're starting with your closet, I'm wondering if she's going to be decluttering. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You'll have to let us know that. Mm hmm. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Aw. Hey, Ronnie's here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gian says she has uh, toddler twins. She needs all the help she can get. Oh, all right. Well, you know about that, Denise. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you definitely need all the help you can get. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rachel. She says we're all the best. Kim is here. Oh, small wedge heels. I will have to look into that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably I better do it soon because I need them before Wednesday. My grandson is going to be in a botillion. And so I need to, you know, I'm, I'm figure I can pull a black dress, a long black dress out of my mm -hmm. closet. But those fancy shoes that I got, they're just a little bit too tall. So I'm going to look at <laughs> the wedge heels. So, yeah. I've been buying the kitten heels, the little mm -hmm. kitten heels. I love those. And, you know, they still look fancy, mm -hmm. but they're just low enough where they're comfortable. And since it'll be in Tennessee, it won't be as mm -hmm. cold there as it is here. So mm -hmm. I can have something open and, you mm -hmm. know, look kind of cute. So, Stacy, have I done a live on Amazon before? I did one time two years ago, and I haven't done one since. I just haven't. So um, I plan to get it all set up. I got all the things out that I wanted to talk about. But and then I'll get everything all set up once I'm done here. But the plan is like, you know, 930 or 945. So we'll see. Okay. It shouldn't take me more than 15 minutes to do the paperwork to set it up because mm -hmm. um, I already made my notes and got everything else out. But we'll see. Might be 945. But I've only <laughs> done it once. <laughs> So Devin finished garden plants today. That's another wow. green thing I love to do. I start Ooh. looking at garden catalogs and seed packets and all that. And I've been getting the gurney emails. So mm -hmm. I just can't wait. Wendy Cooper. So we've got Wendy Coop and this is Wendy Cooper. So yeah. good greetings from Madison, Wisconsin. It's good to have you Aww. here. Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. Oh, no. Hillary. So um, Hillary says Joshua almost cut his thumb off at oh, work no. and had surgery today. Oh, my goodness. Heavenly oh. Father, please watch over Hillary's son. Joshua, mm -hmm. give him the grace and mercy of healing on that thumb. In Jesus' name, I yes. pray. Amen. Amen. Goodness gracious. You mm -hmm. know, men... Men have these kind of accidents. I'm not saying all the time, but I remember once there was a guy my husband had hired to, to cut our grass. Mm -hmm. And I walked outside to ask him something and he was fiddling underneath the, the machine and mm -hmm. cut his finger off. <gasps> Just me coming out startled him. So I took him to the hospital and while he was in the ER talking to the doctor and they were treating him, there were like three men in there and they were talking about how they had cut their fingers or done this or that. And I'm like, what is this, a man thing or something? But I guess it happens more than we know. Mm -hmm. This man lost the whole finger. They couldn't put it back on. But oh. Your son, his hand will be okay. And he's going to mm -hmm. definitely need um, physical therapy and rehab afterwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody's thanking Rachel's husband for his service. Mm. And Devin said the prayer. Okay. Lovely moments. It's going to be signing up for the newsletter. Okay, okay. I'll be on the look for you. Put the. Um, oh, um, okay. Let me put the the email in there. The link there so that they can can do it. You can just drop it there. Then they can catch it in case they have to leave. I don't want them to have to leave here and then go find you to sign up for it. So if you put the link here, they can just copy it. Okay. Okay. There it is. Oh. All right. 
So um, Caroline bought a sonic scrubbing brush. I would like one of those. Do you like it? Yep. Oh, she said they're gleaming. I love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> Listen to Michelle. <laughs> you know what? I haven't worn them in a while. And lately when I've gone to church, I can wear flats. I can wear mm -hmm. gym shoes. So I just wear whatever suits the outfit. But I tend, if I'm wearing a dress, I'm wearing flats. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I got, that's it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to get some kitten heels. Okay. Now, Wendy said she's been downsizing for a year and she took on a closet or a portion of a room at a time. Yeah. And now she's trying to redo her cleaning schedule so that it's realistic with her work schedule and demands. You know, mm -hmm. Wendy, when you're working full time, you can't do everything during the week like I'm talking about. That's for women that are home or homemakers that are home mm -hmm. throughout the day. Not mm -hmm. working from home, because if you're working from home, you're still supposed to be working and not trying to take care of your housework. That means you'll have to get your zone cleaning done on the weekend. Now, the daily swish and swipe in the morning, you might be able to get that done. And you might be able to start a load of laundry or you might not. Mm -hmm. You might have to spend Saturday and Sundays doing that. So mm -hmm. make a schedule that works for you. Don't feel like you have to fit into my box or Miss Leona's box or mm -hmm. Joe's box. You want to make do whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. And it takes a while to downsize. You know, it really does. You just have to be in the mood. Yeah. And now Lovely says because she crafts, she has a lot of stuff and she gives them to her nieces and sisters. For, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another place you can think about gifting crafts is to women's shelters because That's they will true. use them in making like memory items for the ladies or mm -hmm. uh, as arts and crafts for the children. Mm -hmm. Okay. Praying for Joshua. Yeah. Hmm. Good oh, idea. Yeah. Tim. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's uh, Miss Leona's email. So this is the email that you want to uh write to so that you can get the newsletter and then she's got that printable that you will definitely want to have on prepping for Easter. It is very nice. Very nice. And the ladies are praying for Joshua. Yes. So Michelle said she just wears flats. Mm -hmm. And then there's a question about that sonic scrubbing brush. I think I would like to know about that too. Maybe um, I'll have to check those out. She said it was I a have good. seen it work. You have? And it seems to be really nice, uh, but I haven't used it myself. Okay. Okay. Well, Miss Leona, do you have any other tips you want to share in regards to your thoughts on spring cleaning? And then, <laughs> ladies, you can decide what the outcome was spring cleaning to spring clean or not to spring clean that is the question that is the question you, Leona. absolutely you know at this point you know we are we are all ladies of various uh backgrounds and work schedules and the reality of it is is that the suggestions that, that we've been able to offer you are things that you can take and tweak to suit your schedule. And that's certainly what uh, we would love for you to be able to do. You know, sometimes when, when you're starting from square one, it can look a little overwhelming. And certainly, you know, if you're trying to get it all done in a short amount of time, it is overwhelming. But um, I can tell you, you know, sit down, make a list of those things, start with those things you see that are most obvious, and then start to work on those other things that you need to dig a little little deeper into. But, you know, this has certainly been fun. Oh, it and we been. love sharing. Yeah, it has been fun. And so from my perspective, I, I agree with you, Leona, that my thought is don't spring clean, but deep clean all year round. Do what oh. you can. Mm -hmm. But as you said, you have to do what works for you. And you may not be able to deep clean all That's year long. Like Tiffany has two little ones. And so mm -hmm. And she works a full-time job. Yes. She may not be able to do deep cleaning, 
uh, throughout mm-hmm. the year. She may only mm-hmm. be able to get like stay on top of things and keep right. the house neat and tidy. Right. But some of those deep cleaning things she may, may not be able to get to. Mm-hmm. So like Wendy suggested, Wendy Coop suggested, mm-hmm. hire somebody to come. Call somebody. Help you to do that. Yeah, I do. used to have somebody come and do the windows. I didn't do them. Mm-hmm. So Michelle says she's doing zone one this spring, zone two in the summer, and zone three in the fall, and then nothing in the winter to mm-hmm. just kind of stay on top of stuff. So mm-hmm. yeah, I like that idea too. That sounds good too. Yes. So Hillary is thanking us. Well, again, I don't have anything else to share with the ladies. Do you? I don't. I don't. Okay. Well, we've certainly given you guys a lot of tips. Be sure and go over and um, let's see if do I still have it up here or did I close it out? Oh, be sure and go over and check out Miss Leona at Ebony Ivy and Time with Leona Dooley. One of the things she's doing now is she has kind of moved into becoming a vegan. So she's mm-hmm. the weeknight vegan now. She's doing plant based cooking. So come on over and check her out. Now, every now and then, she's still got to cook some protein. So oh, yeah. Hell like, yeah. Look, I need to see some dead animals on that table. <laughs> <laughs> every now and then. Every now and then. And, every you know, that's what the big guy's saying, too. He's got to <laughs> see something that used to move. <laughs> right, right. And so I had told my husband what you said that the big guy said, you know, and he said, that's, and he said, what? Well, and I had asked him about it. He said, well, he says, maybe he could go with it three days a week. But then he says, but those three days, he's probably going to fry some fish and have the fish yeah. and like whatever. Yeah. So there's that. So, yes. Yeah. So from my perspective, again, to clean, to spring clean or not to spring clean, if you can avoid spring cleaning, don't mm-hmm. do that all year long so that when you have your spring break, you can take that spring break and have fun with your family and not have right. to spend the entire week cleaning like we used to have to do. Yeah. If you can do things differently, do. However, you have to do what meets your family's needs. So that's all I have. I want to thank all of you guys for joining us. And we had so many new people join us tonight. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So be sure and, and go over and check out Miss Leona. I'm here usually every Wednesday at 745, but I, um, I'll um i probably have a placeholder up next week because I'm mm-hmm. going to be doing some special things with family. Mm-hmm. Miss Leona will be uh, live on her show on, on Monday. Monday at yes. one o'clock. So be mm-hmm. sure to check her out and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye, everyone. Leona, I'll see you in the green room. All right. Sounds good.